Assalamualaikum, welcome to my channel and today I will be sharing with you how I created my virtual classroom to deliver the HPL lessons to my parents and students. I've written an article where I've shared uh, 17 different tools besides Zooms that you can use to um, communicate with your students. For me personally, I like to use um, free software so I've narrowed it down to the three uh, platforms that I use the most. One of it is Google Classroom, Facebook and YouTube. For the purpose of this video, I'm, un I'm only going to be sharing with you the actual uh, platform that I use which is Google Classroom and YouTube. So let's get started. Okay, so first we are going to go to classroom.google.com and you're going to create account an account with uh, Google Classroom. So whether that is, um, I think for Google mostly it's easier if you, you have a Gmail account. Uh, so go ahead and register for one if you don't have a Gmail account. If not, um, if you already have a Gmail, then it's easier to just create an account with uh, Google Classroom. So here I've already um, created an account and um, I um, basically to test it out I register myself as a student and also as a teacher um, so this is the classroom that I will see uh, as a student so once I go here um, I will see all the uh, assignment and the tasks and the lessons that uh, I've already uploaded um, onto the platform so this is uh, I do this daily um, and sometimes uh, if I have time I even do it in advance so I will just schedule the lessons to be out on a daily basis uh, so that helps me as a teacher to manage my time a little bit better and um, as you can see I can even add in all the uh, resources um, that is required to do those lessons so this is the classroom um, as a student, I'm going to go into the classroom as a teacher. So what will you see as a teacher? Okay, so basically as a teacher, you have more, um, uh, how do you call it? You have more options um, in the program. So one of the things that I like it is that um, it's similar to what you see in um, like a... Um, Facebook right like share something with your class so here what I do is I will just click on it and I will type um, today's lesson or tomorrow's lesson so I'll, I'll start with like assalamualaikum children and then I will say today's lesson we are going to and then I will tell them, okay, number one, what they have to do, and then so on and so forth. And then if I need to add some resources, I'll just go to add. And over here, you have a variety of uh, options. So you can add a YouTube link. So for example, I might want to add a song that I see on YouTube or video, and I want them to follow along. So I just paste the, U uh, paste the URL here, and then click add, and then it will go... Um, into the post like this so all they have to do once they logged in is just to click on the link and it will bring them to the video okay so um and then i have options of if i want to post it immediately i just click on post if not then over here you can schedule you can also save draft like maybe you um haven't decided uh, what you're gonna post so you can always save your draft or you schedule and normally what I do is uh, once I've typed in all the lessons I will schedule it um, to go accordingly um, that way I don't have to um, I can manage my time a little bit better and um, I know that uh, for sure the lessons are gonna be delivered now in Google Classroom also you can put up assignment by going to um, classwork and then there are different kinds of assignments that you can put. There are questions and quiz assignments and topics and as you can see I've already uploaded some of the um, questions and assignments that I want my students to do um, like this craft work of uh, making an owl and what's good about it is that you are also able to 
track your students' progress and also to see who has um, already turned in their assignments or uh, submit their assignments. And um, it's just another way for you to um, manage the curriculum. It's This is in no way to put pressure on parents to complete um, this task um, this is just for the teacher uh, just for um, for me to manage so um, as you can see once you schedule the assignments it will go up to the main page and then you will see that on the status updates all right so if you want to use Facebook now what if you want to use Facebook as a platform so I'll just quickly share um, how I would have done it and that is to create Facebook group groups so go ahead and click um, the Facebook group that is in your Facebook account usually they are at the um, the left hand corner uh, like so and then just click that and then you can name um, your group name um, and for me I'll just you know simply um, name it as per my class and then I will set it as private so then um, you know you limit your audience and you limit your parents unless you are not very shy then you know go ahead and do it public um, but I prefer to just keep it private right so yeah so this is the um, uh, Facebook group and as you can see there are a lot of um, options for you too you can do live videos um, you can upload recorded videos or photographs and you can also add into your files um, and documents um, so uh, quite an easy platform to uh, use as a virtual classroom as well um, I don't use Facebook even though that is um, definitely one of the platforms that I consider um, but one thing about Facebook is that uh, because it is um, you know anything that you uploaded goes into the feed and it is just very hard to manage and group um, the tasks according to their um, daily lessons, their dates or, or their weekly lessons. So um, if a parent or a student has missed out um, yesterday, yesterday's lessons or two days lessons before that it is um they have to like scroll through the feed of the group and go to the bottom of the feed to see what task or lessons that they have missed out and and then that follows accordingly with the resources and the files that you edit as well so it gets um rather confusing and quite cluttered and so that is um one of the reason uh, why i did not use facebook as the platform and i use google because um google allows you to update your status and uh, all the files all the resources that is needed um, can be put in under one status update so it's easy for parents to go back to a couple of days lessons before and see where they have missed out and all the resources are piled together so they don't um so there's no gaps whereby they uh lose track of the lessons so yeah so um and everything um even like watching the youtube videos can be done within google classroom itself so it does not bring you away from the virtual classroom so as you can see um this is one of my recorded lessons that i have also added in to the classroom so children can watch these videos um in the classroom and then follow through the lessons accordingly okay so once you recorded your lesson where do you upload it to and for me um, it's obvious YouTube um, because they allow uh, free uploads of videos so it's one of the platforms that I like um, and it's very easy to just upload to, um, to YouTube I just go to the YouTube 
um, account that um, that has been already been created for the school and then go to YouTube studio and just click the icon on create upload your files and just fill in your details um, so I'm just going to type this uh, title so Alima MBK nursery HPL then um, the important thing is you now because I don't want the um, video to be public I'm just gonna uh, put it as unlisted and that way are uh, only um, the people that I invite to watch this um, video will be able to do so um, otherwise you can also set a password based um, system and then uh, once it's uploaded um, I'm just going to copy the link the shareable link and this link will be uh, communicated to the parents um, through a messaging app that the school uses um, as well as it will also be uploaded into the google classroom so you know uh, once children log in into the Google Classroom, uh, my uh, recorded lesson will be already up there for them to um, do the lessons uh, together with me. All right, thank you for watching this video. Please uh, comment and let me know if uh, how are you coping with the home-based learning experience. Like maybe you have a better uh, process that you have and you like to share them with me. Please comment and give me feedbacks let me know thank you for watching this video and i'll see you again in the next video bye